And welcome back. We've got Dylan Ganson up for the Bobcats. In Class 3A. And Dylan Ganson is on mat number 8. And he's taking on Travis Willers. Taking on Travis Willers from Pleasant Valley. We saw Mitchell Manders from Western Dubuque wrestle him last Wednesday night. And we're going to see Willers and Ganson up right now. And here's Willers. Wow. That's a, uh, that a two-second takedown, Two-second takedown. He caught Ganson by surprise, went right in on a shot, and picks up a two-point takedown and leads it 2-0 with one. And right out of bounds they went, 155 left to go. Jamie Vasky, Zach McCool, Roger Reed back with you here at the Wells Fargo Arena. R quarterfinal round action here. As we had our Class 2A wrestlers go this morning, it was a very tough round for our Class 2A wrestlers as we had a couple guys get bumped to the back side. And here we are in Class 3A now as we will have two matches in this round as we will have Dylan Ganson up and then we'll have Max Lyon at 170 pounds. So then we'll get right at, at the conclusion of this round. We will go right back in to Class 2A second round consolations. Well, boys... Um I still feel like I've wrestled a couple of matches here. You know, you, you follow these guys during the course of the year. You become, uh, you become fans of them. And I'm telling you what, you, uh, when you watch them wrestle, you feel like you're in, in the match with them. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you, you want them to do the best. Right now, there's a, there's a, a knee tap by Travis Willers. Dylan Ganson on his back. 53 seconds left to go. There's the fall. Fall in 109. Dylan Ganson will lose by fall in 109. So um, he didn't look like he was ready to go in that match. Well, we saw him in that slow start yesterday, Jamie. He only won. He only beat Claiborne three to one, and that was a third period takedown to win that match. So I'm telling you what. I'm telling you, you can borrow my marker. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know. Uh, you, you, it's like we talked about, you know, you, you've slept in the, a different bed the second night. You know, you're out of schedule, so to speak. And uh, what you've got to do is make sure you're ready to go here. That match right there, we saw Travis Willers, who is a very, very good wrestler. He's the all-time winningest wrestler at Pleasant Valley with 170. He's probably got 180 matches now. Uh, he was ready to go. And Dylan, Dan Dylan Gantz was a little flat-footed. And, and uh, uh, Ganson's going to bump to the back side. He's going to take on Sky Holmgren from Waverly Shellrock on the back side. Holmgren lost in his first round match to Trey Blaha from Cedar Rapids Prairie. He then won 11 to 9 at the con in the consolation round um, in overtime. So, and and he's rested. You know, we 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 can't stress enough uh, how tough this next round is as they. Uh, as they come back after a loss, you're wrestling someone who just won uh, yesterday and is coming in here fresh. You know, the, the, pro, the pro to that is, that, you know, Ganson wasn't on the mat very long. Yes, he lost. Um, yes, it's hard to take that you lost on the front side. But at the same point is he didn't have an overtime match. He didn't have a match that um, exerted him for the next round. So I, I think that Ganson's going to be still pretty refreshed here and, and ready to go. Hopefully he comes out this next match um, a little bit... Um, you know, fired up and ready to go. Yeah, he wasn't favored to win that match, but you still want to put your best foot forward here, and you still want to make the make your opponent know that you're here and you're going to give a, a fight. But I tell you what, give Travis Willers a credit. He's been ranked number one all year at weight class 152. So um, I tell you what, uh, you know, things happen. Uh, Willers will move on. He's now 52 and two, and uh, Dylan Ganson will have to come the hard way now, win a couple of matches to make sure he gets on that award stand on Saturday night. So. That's going to do it for weight class 152. We've got Max Lyon coming up at 170. So let's take another short break. We'll send it back to the station. And we'll have Max Lyon coming up, taking on Blake Walensky from Dallas Center Grimes. You won't want to miss that one. Stay with us. We've got more hole-by-hole -hole action from the well on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. And welcome back in as Max Lyon is on the mat, mat number four for the Bobcats as he's taking on Blake Walensky from Dallas Center Grimes. First round match here for Max, or quarterfinal round match here for Max Lyon. As he is ready to go, he's on the mat. Walensky is on the mat 
for Dallas Center Grimes, and we are set to go back here at the Wells Fargo Arena. Jamie, this is the second Max Lyon, the freshman phenom. This is the second senior he's wrestled at the state tournament, and he hasn't shown any intimidation whatsoever. And that's what you like to see, Max Lyon coming out and just doing, doing what he has to do and come right out and wrestle his style. Well, with 142 left to go or into the uh, first period here, uh, that was a nice low shot by Lyon and a wizard by Walensky and off the edge of the mat. I like what Max Lyon is, is doing off the whistle, being aggressive, forcing the tempo. And it's nice to see somebody taking charge. Short drag by uh, Lyon to the, to the right leg of Walensky and Walensky squares off Lyon and back to the center of the mat they go. So there's a two on one now by Walensky and underhook now by Lyon and Walensky backs out. 115 left to go. Nice job by the freshman from Western Dubuque. Staggered stance now, leading with his right leg. Walensky with the square stance. Maybe a short lead with his uh, right leg also. Walensky trying to work that two-on-one. There's a low double shot by Walensky. Nice down block by Lyon. Let's see if he can hit a goal behind with this. Front headlock now. I'd like to see him put that front headlock on there, Zach, and, and uh, put a little pressure on Walensky. Walensky down underneath Lyon right now. Uh, we might get a stalemate. Referee's going to let him wrestle right there. And we're going back to our feet. Nice job right there by bouncing his head off the mat once he's in that front headlock. Next time we'd like to see a spin with that. Yeah, go behind right there. Would have been great. Block that arm and scoop behind him. Hard collar tie now by Lyon. Now Lyon with the front headlock on Walensky. Still working that head. The freshman from Western Dubuque working the head of Walensky. Walensky with the two-on-one Russian tie. Now Lyon in on a single. He's got the head the right leg. Had the right leg picked up momentarily. Now an overhook by Lyon on the right side of Walensky. Walensky with an overhook or an underhook on uh, Lyon. So overhooks, underhooks. 14 seconds left. Good scramble. Good job by both wrestlers here to uh, get out of some trouble. A two-point takedown would have been huge for Lyon. Seven seconds left to go. Four seconds. Our first period is going to end 0-0. Good first period for Max Lyon taking on Blake Walensky. He's a senior at 40 and 5. Dallas Center Grimes, the Mustangs. It's going to be Walensky's choice. He's got the all-red singlet on with the red leg bands. He's going to defer over to Lyon, and Lyon will choose down to start the second period. Walensky will ride the left side of Lyon. Lyon with an inside stand-up attempt. Walensky steps over the left heel of Lyon. Now comes with a hard cross face. Lyon doing a nice job. There's a sit out, turn in by Lyon. Covered nicely by Walensky. Walensky back on top of Lyon. Lyon trying to work some hand control. Walensky driving Lyon forward, making him carry all the weight on his uh, chest and hands. 138 left to go, second period, 0 0. Knee slide attempt by Lyon, trying to get to his feet. Sit out now by Lyon, turn in. One point escape on the stand up. Great job, Zach. Great motion right there. Um, did a very nice job of sitting out, turning in. Um, now he's got to get after his offense as Walensky's in on a, a far single here. Potentially dangerous, so he got out of there. Um, <laughs> saved by the whistle once again by the officials. So let's get on our offense here. Let's get after it, Max Lyons. Yeah, it's 1-0, and we found out that you can't sit on a one-point lead here at any time. Uh, there is not a lead. There's a sweep single attempt by Lyon. And uh, Walensky squares him off. Now a nice uh, snap down by Lyon as he's got the head of Walensky pasted to the mat. Walensky now controlling that left elbow of Lyon. Lyon in deep. I'd like to see him go that front headlock right there, Zach, and put a little pressure on uh, Walensky. 47 seconds left to go. Second period. Max Lyon hanging on to a 1-0 lead. And he's going to need a takedown. I think what some of these seniors do is they look at uh, Max Lyon, they say, oh, I've got to wrestle a freshman, but they don't realize he's, uh, he's not a normal freshman. No, he's not. But very well put together. Um, got a lot of technique, a lot of movement, um, a lot of pressure. Uh, that's exactly what you want to see. Does a nice job working the head of uh, Walensky. Heavy on the head. There's a low shot by Walensky. Go behind by Lyon. Now an underhook by Lyon on the right side of Walensky. Walensky has an overhook on the left shoulder of Max Lyon. 14 seconds. You've got to be real careful here. And not sure what's going to happen. Blood. we got a bloody nose. Max Lyon, no Walensky. Walensky has to go to the corner. 
as uh, they banged heads there, and Walensky took the worst of it. Right there, you know, Max Lyon was in some, some danger with his head down and that, that underhook, and, um, you know, Walensky was getting ready to hook that head and toss him to his back. Um, so in that situation, he's got to keep his head up. Well, you're certainly right. <coughs> Walensky with a piece of cotton in his nose. And take care of the bleeding, and we're going to go right to work again with 13 seconds left. It's going to be Walensky's choice to start the third period. And again, if you're Max Lyon, and Paul Clear, I'm sure he said, hey, you got 13 seconds left. If you can get a good shot, get one, but don't give one up here. Yeah, 1-0. Lyon will take the lead into the third period. 1-0. Walensky's going to choose down. A good match. Walensky is 40-5. and five. Lyon is 34-4. and four. So 74 and nine combined record of these two. So uh, they certainly know how to get the W's on their side of the column. Line with a nice tight waist with his left, head lever with the right. <clears throat> That's a good position to be in, Zach, right there. We got that head lever. Now you got to turn that into a wing or a bar. Yeah, I mean, we've seen it already before. A referee calling stalling in this situation. So he, he's got to act uh, like he's trying to get a pinning combination or get something instead of just riding that head lever. So um, got to get to the side, got to get to a wing, got to get, you know, those limbs um, caught up here. So um, Walensky slips the head lever, and Lyon's going to end up uh, letting Walensky go for an escape. So now we're one-to-one. -one with 1.22 left to go off the edge of the mat. We've got to get a restart. So a takedown's probably going to win this match. 1.19 left to go. Max Lyon trying to get himself into the semifinals at weight class 170. The only freshman in the 170 pound bracket class 3A. I tell you what, there's a nice single by Lyon. He's got the right leg of Walensky up. Now he's got to back him up. Walensky with the hard, hard wizard on Lyon. Now Walensky trying to sit back on, on Lyon. Oh, he took it the wrong way, Zach. He dropped, he dropped on the single instead of getting the leg out. He still got the, he still got the leg of Walensky, and he's trying to recover using his strength. We're seeing he's the strength lift. of, we're seeing the strength of Max Lyon right here. He's got to lift this. Oh, he recovered. Man. That was a, that was an accident waiting to happen right there for Max Lyon. You know, Roger, I think he tried to do the right thing at dumping him. He just dumped him back on himself right there. He's got to continue to circle with that instead of going straight back into him. Well, you're right. I would like to see him pull get way down to the heel and get Walensky a little bit uncomfortable. 32 seconds left. There's a tap and go by Walensky. He's in deep on a single. Hard down block by Lyon. Walensky now trying to lift up that left leg of Max Lyon. Lyon crowding Walensky. Walensky's now going to cut across to a double. And I think the freshman just made a freshman mistake right there. And he did. He went over the top of Blake Walensky. Instead of down blocking and stuffing the head, Walensky's going to win this match 3-1. Oh, that was very unfortunate, and that was the, you know, was that a freshman mistake there? Might have been a freshman mistake, but uh, Walensky got in deep on the shot, made a count. Yeah, I mean, it, not much you can say about that besides putting yourself in a tough, tough situation there. Came over top of him when he was in deep, uh, had to find a way to scramble out of that situation instead of sit. Um, great match, um, just a freshman getting his feet wet again, doing something wrong, and, and coming out on the short end of the stick right there. Well, and you got to learn from that. You know, uh, great shot by Walensky. Again, wizard, down block, uh, get your hips in, make yourself heavy on the top of Walensky. So Max Lyon will get dumped to the backside, and uh, Jamie, uh, that's all of our 3A wrestlers, so we will take another timeout. This will be a little bit longer, I think. We're at weight class 195. We got to go 220, 285, and then 106. And then you're back to 113. We'll have Patrick Woods up on his consolation Russell back, and that will be another barn burner. So we'll send it back to the station. Stay with us. We've got more action for you from the well. Class 3A, class 2A, quarterfinal, quarterfinal round action Russell backs. You won't want to miss any of it. You're listening to Hold by Hold Action on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. <laughs> Welcome back in to state wrestling coverage here on KMCH as we are getting ready for Austin Hush, the senior from Western Dubuque, as he is taking on Levi Azinger from Pella. Azinger coming in here, he is 35 and 4. Hush coming in here, a senior 42 and 2. A lot of wins right there between these two guys and uh, two outstanding seniors. 
couple of uh, college wrestling coaches are going to get a couple of dandies right here. That's, uh, that is his dad down there coaching uh, Azinger. He was an All-American wrestler for Central College in Pella. So Azinger has good credentials coming in here. There's a nice shot by Ha. She's in between the legs of Azinger. Azinger goes to scramble situation over the top of the over the top of Hosh, grabs the grabs the uh, left heel of Hosh. Hosh is trying to get his head out, pop his head out to the side. Hosh maintains, maintains control of the right angle, right ankle of, of Azinger. Now Hosh elevates Azinger. Hosh in pretty good position. His head's up. He's going to try to pop his head out and cover the hips of Azinger. He's got his head out. Ah. Azinger goes right back to a scramble. Hosh head back in between the legs of Azinger. And it looks like we should get a stalemate right here. Not a stalemate. Hosh now goes to a single. He's still got the left leg. Gets his head out to a double. Boy, he switched off from one shot to another. Uh, Azinger's going to try to elevate. I'm telling you what, we're going back to our feet. What a uh, scramble. Well, right there is the situation. Austin Hosh, you know. He was in there, and, and he got picked up that leg, but he went right into a dump. He tried to dump it and just attack the legs instead of picking up and driving Azinger and getting the takedown. Well, you're right. That Azinger is an outstanding scrambler, good freestyle wrestler. There's another long single by Austin Hosh. He's in deep. He's got a single on the left side of Azinger. Azinger wrapped around the waist with the left hand. There it goes into the thigh of the, right, uh, the left leg of Hosh. Hosh is going to try to spike that knee and circle Azinger. Azinger bumps the hip, hips of Hosh. Hosh is going to try to switch across to a double. Azinger casts himself around to the left side of Hosh. Hard cross face now by Azinger. And we're going to get a stalemate one more time. 15 seconds left to go first period. <clears throat> Austin Hosh wins this. He will secure a medal of some sort. He's going to go over to the blood table. Somebody's bleeding. Levi Azinger. And this state wrestling coverage on KMCH brought to you by Dairy Queen, Kelleher's Jewelry, Fairway, Smitty's, Fireside Pub and Steakhouse, Simon's Grain and Feed, Leonard Muller Funeral Home, DNS Portables, Crop Production Services in Dyersville and Worthington, Citizen State Bank, Edgewood Convalescent Home and Lincolnwood Assisted Living, Three Rivers FS, Meyer Mechanical, The Good Neighbor Home, Edgewood Reminder, and Fenton Repair, LLC. I like what Austin Hosh is doing. He continues to shoot. But he's got to at some point make those uh, make those shots count. Azinger goes down to all fours. And uh, we've seen a lot of that uh, different different technique there. Azinger in a bear crawl position on all fours. Low single by Azinger. He's got it picked up. Ooh. Wow. Maybe that's good strategy to stay in that uh, position. As you are always low. Azinger's choice is going to defer over to Hosh, and Hosh is going to choose down. Hosh and Hosh, the very fine senior for Coach Paul Cleary and the Western Dubuque Bobcats coming in here at 41-1, and ranked number six in the state. There's a stand-up by Hosh, a lift by Azinger, lift and return by Azinger. Now Azinger steps over the right ankle of Hosh. Hosh coming right back to a stand-up crossbody ride by Azinger. Hosh now back down to the mat. Azinger with his hips down. Good opportunity for Hosh to score. And we're going to get a stalemate. And back to the center. Stalemate back to the center. Got to find a way to score some points here. Uh, that's what we're back to here. Get off off, off the bottom. At least a reversal <laughs> or, or a stand-up. Get one point and get after it again. Well, that's been the name of the game so far. There's a nice stand-up by Hosh, but he f fails to clear that left ankle. And Azinger once again throws a cross body right in on the right side of Hosh, working a power half Nelson on the left. Again, you got to keep those hips up high. That's easier said than done. Mule kick that right leg free and then uh, create some space. Keep those hips up tall. Look for a tripod roll out of the legs. A mule kick, something to free that right leg. There's a power half Nelson by Azinger on the left side of Austin Hosh. Again, 0-0, 106 to go. Azinger deferred over to Hosh. Hosh chose down to start the second period. So, Zach, if you choose down, you better be able to score. That's right. Uh, that's that's the main reason why you go down is get up and, and get out and get that easy one-point escape. Uh, having a tough time right now for Hosh to get out from, from underneath. Well, now he's going to try a Granby roll, and Azinger follows him nicely and then puts a cross body right in, this time on the, on the left side of Hosh. Hosh tries to catch the leg. And he does catch the leg. I'm telling you what, I've seen guys in that position, though, get into some trouble. 
There's a nice job now by Ha. She's got his knees underneath his hips. He's going to try to stand, uh, tripod stand up and shake Azinger down. Now Haas is in a little bit better position. Double legs now by Azinger. Azinger takes both wrists of Haas and stretches Haas out. Haas now belly down in the center of the mat. 29 seconds left to go. We've got to clear those hips. Got to clear those hips. 24 seconds left and Haas has to go over to the blood table. Uh, one more time. Not sure what's bleeding. Coach Paul Cleary checking him out. The Western New Bobcats qualifying six wrestlers here, the most out of any WAMAC team. West Delaware with five and Indy with five. Solon with four. Central DeWitt with three. Vinton with three. And Mount Vernon with three. 35 WAMAC qualifiers. State qualifiers out of Walmack tournament. Talked about how tough that conference was, and we're seeing it right here. We will figure out how many medalists. We'll have some medalists out of the Walmack. We'll check that out for you. All right, 24 seconds for Austin Hosh has got to find a way to get out of here. And I certainly would like to see uh, uh, some hip movement of some sort. Here comes a leg by Azinger. There's a short stand-up attempt. Now Hosh to his feet. He's going to stand up and clear Azinger. He scores one. Great movement by the senior from Western Dubuque. Well, that's great hand control, great motion. And now you got to be careful. You don't want to give up two here. Seven seconds left to go if you're Austin Hosh. Boy, Azinger has went to all fours. And now Hosh is going to drop down to all fours to lower his level. It's going to be Azinger's choice. And let's see where he decides to go. He's going to go down. Austin, Austin Hosh is very tough on top riding. And we're going to have to see it right here. He's two minutes away from advancing in and up placing in this state meet. There's a hard chop, tight waist by Hosh. Azinger underneath. Azinger's going to work some hand control. That was too easy, Jamie. And over on mat number one, second period, Andy Doherty up for Western Dubuque. It's tied up 2-2. Two to two as Andy Doherty is taking on Joe McGinnis from Indianola. He's a senior at 39 and nine. Doherty is a senior at 24 and 10. So uh, just about missed Andy Doherty. He must've got called up shortly after Austin Hush, but he's tied up two to two and he's underneath to start this second period. Azinger on all fours. Went from a three point stance. It looked like he was a sprinter in the blocks. Now he's on all fours, a bear crawl. Azinger's got some very long arms, very long levers. Hosh dives in on a front, uh, a front headlock collar tie. Azinger now attacks uh, Hosh. Hosh now on all fours. Good strategy by Hosh. He's going to drop on all fours and, and get his level at the same level as Azinger. Now, but you can't, you got to watch that you don't get hit with a throw, uh, go behind there, uh, Zach. You're going to go low. you got to keep those hands out ready to react. That's something a little bit different. Um, if you're not used to wrestling on all fours and on two knees, it's tough to stay stay moving in that position if you're not used to it. Well, Hodge took a low shot. He's in on a single on Azinger. 59 seconds left to go. Azinger trying to work a counter on Hodge. Again, Hodge has to keep that tight. Hodge has a single up on, on Azinger. Sits Azinger to his backside. Picks up a two-point takedown. Textbook. Austin Hosh in on that single. Now you're 43 seconds. You got to ride, 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 ride. He's got Azinger belly down off to the center, off the right center of the mat. And over on mat number one, we're going to get stalling against the Andy Doherty as he's still underneath. Still underneath as he's it's tied up two to two. 15 seconds left to go in the second period against Joe McGinnis. And McGinnis riding tough and a stalling warning against Doherty. 10 seconds left, and we're going to now Doherty up to his feet, try to switch. McGinnis covers him up, and we're going to go to the third period, tied up three to three. Three to one here. Three to one. I did uh, Hosh get ding for stalling. It's three to two now. I never saw the first stalling call on Hosh. Did McGinnis go down to start the second, get out, or the third? Yes. Remember, boy, it was a boy. Quick Quick escape. It was a quick escape, remember? And then Hosh got the takedown. Okay. All right, long shot by Azinger. Collar tie, 10 seconds left to go. Going to get warning against Hosh. Oh, that's Hosh's first warning right there. Hang on to that wrist control, Austin Hosh. He's going to catch the leg of Azinger as Azinger tries to hit a goal behind. Two seconds left. And uh, I'll tell you what, you got you to keep those hands low right now. Two seconds left. That's still time. 
And we're going to get a caution against Azinger. Austin Hosh. What a takedown by Hosh. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Austin Hosh with a very hard fought 3 to 2 win. And I tell you what, he saw a little we saw a little jump there, just a little jump in Austin Hosh. I tell you what, what a feeling. Over on the far side, mat number one, it's four to two. As McGinnis chooses down to start the third period, he picks up a reversal on Andy Doherty. 50 seconds left to go. Doherty trying a switch. He's got to get make something happen here as it's four to two. Tough situation to be in, Jamie Vasky, if you're Andy Doherty. He just hasn't got his hips out where they need to be. 34 seconds left, and again, Doherty belly down. Andy Doherty's 28 seconds away from his career as a Bobcat. Uh, he's fought pain, he's fought some, some uh, tough situations this year, but he came back to qualify, to be a state qualifier, and, and uh, that's something pretty special, Jamie. It really is, and you know, he's, uh, he's gonna, looks like he's got four, he's got 16 seconds left. You know, this match isn't over, but uh, he doesn't want to wrestle he doesn't want to be done wrestling in this Bobcat singlet as he's going to try a switch off the restart. 12 seconds left to go. A re-switch by McGinnis. And with 8 seconds left to go, Doherty's going to get flattened out here and that's going to do it 4-2. to two. Doherty is going to fall in this match. 4-2, to two, so Andy Doherty's career at Western Dubuque comes to an end here as he loses 4-2 to two against Joe McGinnis from Indianola. Ah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. You lose by two. You know, you try that switch, and you're close, and McGinnis does a nice job blocking that switch off. And I'll tell you what, Andy Doherty can look back on his career as a Bobcat, and uh, he'll smile. He'll be, he'll be a little disappointed for a day or two, but uh, he'll, he'll smile because you join an elite fraternity. You're a state qualifier. You come down here and win a match. You're in the top 12. You know, you advance to the second day, Jamie. Not ranked at all, but you finish in the top 12. That's pretty special. Yeah, it really was. And, you know, he's unfortunately that's going to be it for him, but a, a good tournament for him. Well, we're waiting for 152 pounder Dylan Ganson to take the mat there. Number five, 152 pounders, Jacob Woodard, Bendorf. Dylan Ganson will be the next wrestler up on the next free mat. He'll be taking on Sky Holmgren from Waverly Shell Rock. He's a senior coming in here at with a 10 and 7 record right now, Holmgren. So uh, you, you look at some guys coming in. I thought we 17 matches. We saw a wrestler come in with a 5 and 0, 0 record, Zach McCool. So 17 matches, not many, but you know, if you're Waverly Shell Rock, tough competition, uh, tough wrestling room. Uh, you're qualified for state and you're fighting for a medal. Yeah, that's something that you're always looking for is coming down here and, and, and getting that medal. Um, depends what it is, but you can't be satisfied of, of just getting a medal. Now now, get to work and keep working your way up that podium. Well, Dylan Ganson, again, we'll see if his uh, 30... <laughs> Dylan Ganson over on mat number one, gentlemen. Dylan Ganson called up on mat number one, so uh, he was... He followed Andy Doherty, so we'll spy, uh, we'll spy Dylan Ganson again. <clears throat> Dylan Ganson winning 3-1, to one, then losing by a fall in 109, so he's got to come back here again, another senior for Coach Paul Cleary. You win this, you're going to be on the podium on Saturday night. You're going to be in the Grand March. You lose this one, you got to settle with a, for a handshake. So, again, if you're Dylan Ganson, push the tempo here. You're wrestling a guy with only 17 varsity matches. He's lost 10. He's lost over half the matches uh, that he's wrestled. Almost half. 10 and 7 is his record. You've got to get after it and push the tempo. 51 seconds here. We're in neutral position. No score. 0-0. Zero, zero. Waiting in the wings is 170-pounder Max Lyon. He'll be taking on Derek Mann from Marshalltown, a senior at 33 and 8. So... The third senior, the Max Lyon, will wrestle in this state tournament. 33 seconds left. Ganson, again, uh, wrestling some close matches here. I'd like to see him just open up that offense just a little bit here and uh, get going. 27 seconds left to go. Hard collar tied by Holmgren. Holmgren tries to drop in on a single. Nicely blocked off by Gannon. Gannon with the collar tie with the left. 
Anchor pick attempt now by Holmgren. There's a nice shot by Gantz, and he's in deep. Let's see if he can turn this into two. He's got the single. That's got to be two. Thank you very much. Very good. You like to see that, Zach McCool. Yeah, and if he wasn't going to get to two there, I think he would have got fling the mat as he was trying to get off the mat there. Um, instead, he got both legs and ended up getting that two-point take there. And if you look at the clock, uh, if you look at the clock, there's uh, only eight seconds left. So Holmgren, Holmgren comes to a stand-up. Ganson reaches down and picks up that inside single and drives Holmgren forward. But the second the period's going to run out. It's going to be uh, Ganson's choice. He's going to defer over to Holmgren, and Holmgren's going to go down. So we'll see what happens here. To start the second period, it appears that Gans is going to ride the right side of Holmgren. Holmgren right to his feet, exploding. And he's going to pick up a one-point uh, escape. That was about a three-and-a-half-second escape for Holmgren. And Holm Holmgren now cut the lead to one, two-to-one lead for Ganson. So Gans has got some work to do. Again, I'd like to see him explode right back into that single. When he was ready to shot, he, shoot, he loaded that up and just exploded right through the leg of, of Holmgren. Holmgren working a collar tie on Ganson. Ganson with a retie. 124 left to go. Inside trip attempt by Ganson. Holmgren backs out of it. We're going to get a stalemate as we went off the edge or sitting on the edge of the mat. Just starting the 160 pounders, so Max Lyon will be waiting in the wings, the last of our Bobcat wrestlers. <clears throat> Dylan Ganson trying to join Austin Hosh in the medal round. <clears throat> Again, Jamie, these guys will wrestle one more time and then uh, they'll wrestle for the medals. Uh, tonight will be, to, I think tonight determines what medals they wrestle for. Uh, night. Not well, yet quite. Well, it depends. If they, if they lose, they'll, they know they'll be going for 7th and 8th. If they win tonight, they'll wrestle in the Constellation semifinals tomorrow morning. Okay, very good. 41 seconds left to go. 2-1. to one. Ganson deferred to Holmgren. Ganson deferred to Holmgren. That should have been a caution. Thank you very much on Holmgren. 39 seconds left to go. Holmgren tried an ankle pick on the whistle. And we've got blood time on Ganson. Ganson will have to go to the corner and get that taken care of. So, Zach, you're ahead two to one. You got 37 seconds left to run this period out. Then it's your choice, the third period. You got to keep wrestling here. We, we always talk about and have been talking about don't give up late points in the period. Um, you either have to get points at the end of the period or not give up points at the end of the period, especially when it's uh, your choice for an opportunity to continue to score some points. Well, and Dylan Ganson could certainly use another two-point takedown here. He scored the last one with about 12 seconds left in the first period. There's a shot by Holmgren. Holmgren drops in on a single. Ganson does a nice job countering that with a wizard and stuffs the head of Holmgren. So they go back to their feet. Holmgren now on the uh, go here. There's a long shot by Ganson in deep. Let's see if he can climb the body of Holmgren and switch off to a double. Holmgren in a nice down block. 14 seconds left to go. Double underhook now by Ganson as he's got Holmgren lifted up out of position. Holmgren's going to sag on Ganson. Seven seconds left to go. Got to be careful here. Don't want to give up but two on the edge of the mat. Four seconds left. <clears throat> and Ganson's got to go back to the corner one more time. I'm not sure what's bleeding, but uh, must have a cut. Let's take a look at it. Ganson got to take off his headgear. There's a cut right above his right eye. Holmgren with a little blood on him, so they're going to wipe that up. They're calling the 170-pounders up right now. So we will wait for Max Lyon to come up, and he's got to get a tough match. Derek Mann from Marshalltown, a senior at 33 and 8. So we'll wait for that match to be called up as uh, Dylan Ganson gets the Dan Gable tape job. As they wrap some pre-wrap, they put a gauze around that cut, pre-wrap his head, tape it up. All right, Matt, number two, so we'll be side by side by side here. That'll be kind of nice. That'll be kind of nice to be next door so we can spy both matches. Three seconds left to go. It's going to be Ganson's choice to start the third period. I think he's got to go down. Well, you got a one-point lead. You're two minutes away from advancing. 
And again, you can't sit. That's going to be an escape by Ganson. It's now three to one. Though Holmgren kind of, once Ganson got to his feet, Holmgren kind of gave him a push. And now this is going to be a test of guts, determination, will, shape, conditioning. Everything you practice for, Zach McCool, you're going to wrap it right into this last two minutes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, taking good shots and blocking off good shots. That's exactly what he has to do. Well, Holmgren in on an over and under. Ganson on an over and under. You don't want to get thrown to your back here. Derek Mann in on a double. Jamie, your, your spine max lines match? Yep. Okay, thank you very we'll much. get it. All right. Uh, 124, Holmgren drops in on a single. Now Ganson's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get dinged for stalling here. That's a, a couple of good offensive shots by Holmgren. Ganson's got to move forward. 116 left to go. Holmgren with the collar tie. Ganson in on a shot. He's got that single picked up. Let's see if he can turn this into two. He's got the left leg of Holmgren picked up. He's got it outside. Holmgren's got it outside. Ganson's going to try to front trip him. 101 left to go. Ganson's got that leg up. He's wrapped up at the knee. Zach McCool, you need a back trip. You need a front trip. You need something to take him down here. And a sit back attempt by Holmgren. Got to be very careful here. There's Ganson very with the nice two point takedown. Right there. Oh, that was critical right there. Outstanding, Zach. Very nice. He tried that back trip on him and he just dumped him right to his butt and got the two point takedown. That was very patient. That was Dylan Ganson showing a lot of patience there. Now an escape by Holmgren. 42 seconds left. Holmgren trying to go upper body on Ganson. Now Holmgren drops in on a single on Ganson. 35 seconds left to go. Holmgren trying to launch Ganson. Ganson doing a nice job blocking off. And over here on mat number two, Max Lyon, excuse me, Max Lyon taking on Derek Mann. It's a takedown for Mann and an escape for Lyon. So it's two to one. Derek Mann from Marshalltown leads that one. As we go out of bounds, 51 seconds left to go. First quarter, first period. <laughs> As we get set, 44 seconds left to go now. As Max Lyon and Derek Mann going at it. Lyon, the freshman for the Bobcats. Mann for Marshalltown is a senior at 33 and 8. As we go out of bounds once again, 31 seconds left to go in this first period. Well, Dylan Ganson, 29 seconds away from advancing. He's got a three-point lead, Zach. We go, we go back to staying away. He doesn't have a stall call yet. Um, he's got to stay away. Don't get lateral dropped or dropped to his back for a five-point move here. So uh, keep moving your feet. Keep circling. Hands down low to the mat um, and stay low. Max Lyon in on a single leg. They're going to go out of bounds. Ten seconds left to go. As man, you know, just running out of bounds, never know. Might have had flame the mat there. That's what I would have thought right he, there, Jamie. He dove out of bounds, did Derek Mann. Eight now, seconds left to go. Now Ganson's going to get dinked for stalling, you guys. Ganson in on a shot. Holmgren trying to crowd him. Ganson's going to elevate Holmgren. Might be another takedown. Ganson trying to cover the hips of Holmgren. 12 seconds left to go. For Dylan Ganson, lift that leg up. Stay right there. Eight seconds left to go. Ganson bear hugs that left leg of Sky Holmgren, and Ganson's going to win this match, five to two. Bobcat fans, what an outstanding match by the senior from Western Dubuque. That's hearts, that's guts, that's determination. That's your whole season wrapped up in uh, that last two minutes, Zach. He did what he had to do to win that match. Uh, came out there taking a lot of deep shots, um, scoring five points, and ultimately winning five to two. Outstanding match there. So. Uh, Jamie, the Bobcats are, uh, are coming on strong here. They've got two still in the tournament <clears throat> as Derek Mann chooses down to start the second. Max Lyon doing a good job of riding on top. 1.30 left to go second period, and Lyon trails 2-1. Two, two to one. And up on top, riding tough is, Man, is uh, Lyon. Man's going belly down. See, that to me is stalling right there on the bottom guy. Inside wrist by Lyon, and Man's going belly down. Lyon trying to tilt Man. Oh. Well, that's a nice job. Got a 1,001 count out of our official. You got to hold him there for another one, and, and Lyon's going to take the lead. I like, the, I like what uh, Max Lyon is doing right now. He's applying a lot of pressure forward and looking for some tilts. <clears throat> going to be Lions choice the third period so if he could come away here with a with a two point tilt of some sort some back points that would be huge 
All right, there's the whistle. Claw ride by, <clears throat> claw ride by Lion. Tight, deep waist with the left. Claw with the right. He's got Man broken down. Again, Man sitting on all fours, just burning some clock. Now Max Lion drives Derek Man forward with an inside wrist. <clears throat> Boy, where's that official we had the first match of the day today, gentlemen? We need him on that mat right now because Derek Mann is belly down and stalling big time. Max Lyon, Max Lyon's got an inside wrist now on the left. Derek Mann has not done anything underneath. And he's crawling out. He's crawling out of, out of bounds. He fleed the man already, running out of bounds on a takedown. Um, so we finally just got a stall call right there, so... Right when we're talking about it, got a stall call. Now continue to go after it. Well, that is huge. You know, that was, that was uh, we started this with 48 seconds. That was 32 seconds, and man has not done a thing. <clears throat> 12 seconds left to go. Now, if you're uh, Max Lyon, you got to be careful here. You don't want to give up one. Man to his feet. Max Lyon latches around the waist, two and one, and we're going to go to the third period, and it should be Lyon's choice. And now Max Lyon's got to get called for stalling. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me right there. Five, five seconds left, and he has him. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Man from Marshalltown, belly's down for over 40 seconds. <clears throat> wow. Oh well, we aren't wearing the striped shirts. They're doing it. Max Lyon to his feet. Max, Max Lyon to his feet right there. He's got to pop his hips and uh, keep in bounds. Man has been warned for stalling now, so both wrestlers have a warning. 152 left to go. In that third period, the conditioning and the shape of the Bobcats, will it pay off right here? Will it pay off for the freshman, his first trip to the state tournament? Will he walk away with the state medal? We've got 143 left to determine it. There's a nice sit-out turn in by Lyon. This thing is tied up at two. We got the Bobcat faithful sitting down to our left. That brought them to their feet, two to two. Now for Max Lyon, you got to push the tempo here. Absolutely, he's got to go after his offense, his, his go-to move right here. Um, ultimately, get a medal. Don't, for, don't force a bad shot here. There's a duck under. Slide by by Lyon. Off the edge of the mat goes Mann. 119 left to go. Can, can the freshman have enough poise? Can the freshman set up a really good shot here and finish it? Mann drops in, takes a long shot. Lyon blocks it off. 119 to go. 2-2, two to two, tied up at Deuces. There's a sweep single attempt by Lyon. Didn't clear the arms of Mann. Getting that... <clears throat> Man doing a nice job keeping that head in position. Lion now picks up the tempo a little bit. He takes a peek at the clock. Double underhook. Snap down by, snap down by Man. Oh, two point takedown by Derek Man as Lion went to that front headlock and snapped Derek Man right, right into, into his two. feet. Zach. Yeah, he did. Snap him instead of instead of bringing him past the side, he brought him right into his feet, made it easy for the senior from Marshalltown to cover up. But there's a minute left. You know that's plenty of time for Max Lyon to get an escape, and then it's four to three and a takedown. You take the lead five to four. See what the freshman's got left in his tank. Four to two. The senior from Marshalltown, Max Lyon, up to his feet, splitting the hands. Keeps staying bounds, staying bounds, oh. and man shoves him off. 49 seconds left to go. Man sucking a little wind here. Uh, Lions still got a lot left in his tank here. We could see an overtime match here. Yeah, 49 seconds left here. Up to his feet. Max line to his feet. There you go. It's four to three. Max line on the prowl. He's in on a double. Switches off to a single. He's got the right leg. That's, that's fleeing the, 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 the mat. That's fleeing the mat right there. You got to call that. You've got to call Flea in the mat right there. Coach Paul Cleary, oh my I'll tell you what, That's that twice. was unbelievable. That's twice. Great shot by, by the freshman from uh, Western Dubuque. There's man in on a double. Now he takes a shot. Front headlock now by Lyon. 32 seconds left to go. Snap him down, Max Lyon. Hit a go behind. Pick your two points up. And we're going to get a stalemate. Wow. If that wasn't Flea in the mat, I, that's a textbook. Flea in the mat right there. 25 seconds left to go. Max Lyon in on, a, in on a single, head to the outside. He's got to cut across to a double. See if he can split the legs of man. you got to cut across to a double, Max Lyon. 
Derek Mann now takes the ankle, potentially dangerous. Boy, he got to cut across to a double right there. He kept that single high crotch shot, head to the outside. Man sagged, cut across to double, cover the hips. 13 seconds left. Go, Max Lyon. 10 seconds left. Got to go. Long shot. Long shot by Lyon. Six seconds left to go. He got it. Stalin. He got that's the Stalin call. call on Man. That's huge. Tied up. We're going overtime. I think that's a makeup call right there for him. I think that's a match. Thank you very much. If it is, it's deserved. deserved. <laughs> Max Lyon will take it. Now we're going overtime, four to four. Now I got to get the clock going. Man is exhausted here. Have Lyon get after his offense. Go again, Max Lyon. Go again. Move your feet, Max Lyon. Get on the attack here. <clears throat> four to four. There's a long shot by Lyon. He's in the leap. Not That's yet. two. That's two. That's two. That's back point. That's, That's a ball. What a what a unbelievable. Two point takedown, <laughs> put the double spur in and he pinned man from Marshalltown. The Bobcat faithful are on their feet. That's an overtime fall. 619. 619. 619, Max Lyon won, won by a fall. Tell you what, that's heart, that's guts, that's soul, that's, uh, that's unbelievable. But that's a freshman phenom right there. We're right here as Max Lyon wrestles his third senior. He beats two of them, and he loses a hard-fought 3-1 to match to Blake Volinsky from Dallas Center Grimes. So we will see Max Lyon later on today. That's an unbelievable match there. A smile as big as you can see right there. Look at that smile as Max Lyon is, uh, is walking by the Bobcat faithful right below us. Paul clearly pumps his fist. We got the, the, the Bobcat coaching staff pumping their fist. We got a standing ovation by the Bobcat faithful down here. I'll tell you what, what's a fantastic match. That gives me goosebumps, gentlemen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Pretty awesome right there. That's what you work for all year long right there. That's conditioning. That's, that's those situations you talk, in, you talk about in the room. You're going to be there. You're going to be overtime. You're going to be in the state tournament. You need a takedown to win. Max Lyon got the takedown. He pushed the tempo. And I'll tell you what, uh, you take the win there any day. Well, let's take a short, short, let's take a short time out. And we're going to give the book to Mr. Jamie Vasky. He'll recap our day's action. Then we'll take a break. And we'll have our 1A kids coming in at about uh, at some point during the day. So let's take a short time out. You've been listening to State Tournament Wrestling, wild and crazy as it is today from the well on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. And welcome back. We just got done covering Max Lyon. What a match he just had. A fall in overtime in 619. Great job by Max Lyon. We start, we'll recap this round. As for the Bobcats, Austin Hush winning a match here today as he defeated Levi Azinger from Pella, third, who was 35-4. and four. He defeated him 3-2, to two. so Austin Hush will take home a medal for the Bobcats. At 138, just one match for Andy Doherty as he lost that match 4-2 to two to Joe McGinnis from Indianola. So Andy Doherty's great career at Western Dubuque comes to an end here today. At 152, Dylan Ganson from Western Dubuque had a quarterfinal round match against Travis Willers from Pleasant Valley. He lost that match by fall in one minute and nine seconds. He then took on Sky Holmgren from Waverly Shellrock winning that match by a score of five to two. Ganson will advance to the consolation quarterfinals later today. At weight class 170 a hard match for Max Lyon in the first match. A quarterfinal round match against Blake Walensky from Dell Center Grimes. Walensky defeats Lyon 3-1 to one. and then the match we just talked about Max Lyon getting the fall in overtime over Derek Mann from Marshalltown in 6 minutes 19 seconds so he will take home a state medal his freshman season. We will be back starting at 3.30 as at 3.30 we will have the class 1A quarterfinals. We'll have area wrestlers there in class 1A then we will have the Class 2A semifinals and third round consolations, followed by the Class 1A second round consolations. So I tell you what, fast and furious action. Semifinalists, semifinalists in Class 2A, we've got some of them, and we'll have some quarterfinalists in Class 1A as well. So we will be back with that. We'll 
start our broadcast a little bit early as Renee Pins from West Delaware will be singing our national anthem. So we will have Renee Pins national anthem for you starting at 3.30 or a little bit before 3.30. So we'll go on the air and have Renee Pins singing the national anthem. That's going to do it for us. We want to thank Janelle Tucker for running the board for us this evening. Mike Johnson got us started earlier this morning, so thank you very much uh, for you two running the boards for us this, e this morning, not this evening. No. It's not evening yet. The day's kind of mixed together this morning as we get set for Class er, class 1A action coming up at 3.30. For Roger Reed and Jamie Vaz for and Zach McCool, <laughs> I am struggling. I think it's time for a break, guys. This is Jamie Vasky from the State Wrestling Tournament and the Wells Fargo Wells Fargo Arena here in Des Moines, Iowa. You're listening to it on Mix 94.7 KMCH.